Hey, I'm Lisa Michelle, and I like making content to help new and aspiring entrepreneurs start and grow their first online business. So if you like these types of videos, please consider liking it so I'll know to make more videos like this. So now in today's video, I want to talk about word search puzzle books and how you can create one. Now, I create them using BookBolt. Um, there are a lot of different programs and software out there, but BookBolt to me is just the easiest one specifically for activity books. And so this is basically what you would find once you log in to the main page. You, right here you can see you can create with BookBolt or you can do research. And if you want me to do a full tutorial on BookBolt, I'd be happy to do that. Let me know in the comments. But for now, since we're going to make a puzzle book, we'll go up here and click on create. And then what you would have to do is log in to PuzzleWiz. Okay, so I'm already logged in. So once you log in, this is what you'll see. And you can see from BookBolt, I mean, you can make any type of activity book using this program crossword puzzles hangman puzzles word scrambles you name it you can make it with, with book bolt and sell it as an activity book all right but so the video won't get too long i'm just going to do one type of puzzle book and that's the word search so we'll click on word search and you'll see that there are different tabs here so you can either select bleed or no bleed and even though my puzzle book is not going all the way to the end i still select bleed not sure why but I always select bleed now for the size I'm picking six by nine and I'll leave it double-sided because it will be more than one page and for now it'll be three pages for demonstration purposes here you can pick what font you'd like inside your word search so even though there are some fonts that are script and that almost kind of look like handwriting because it's a word search I want I mean, I want the words to be clear. So, you know, I, I would just pick something pretty, pretty basic, pretty boring, just to make sure that it's visible and clear um, once it's printed out. All right, so we'll leave. Let's see, not definitely not that. Yeah, that's like a town sized. Um, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter, right? All right, so I'll, that's kind of small. Okay, I'll, I'll pick that one and leave that. All right, down here, you can decide whether or not you want the program to put in random words or sentences. If your file doesn't meet the requirements, I'm going to say no, um, because I, I just wanted to use the words that I'm giving it. I don't want it to add anything random in there. I do want to include the solutions, of course. I do want to match the puzzle and solution page numbers, and I do want it to be, um, I do want page numbers there. So now what I need to do is just select my file. So as you can see here, it's saying files should be separated into sections by a space. And each section will be a different puzzle or a different word search. And the thing is you have to save your file as a CSV file. So that means you have to either use something like Excel or Google Sheets to create your list. It's just really easy. So I'm using Google Sheets. So if you have, you know, Word or what is it, the Office, Microsoft Office, and you have access to Excel and you want to use that instead, that's fine. But I'm using Google Sheets, which is free if you have a uh, Gmail account, right? So now this is what it's asking us to do, to put one word on each row and then to separate each puzzle by a space. So you can see here, I've got 10 words here, which is going to be one puzzle. And then I've got 10 more here, which would be another puzzle and there's a space, and then 10 more words here for a third puzzle, all right? So now, once you have all of your words here, and I only did 10, okay? But it's saying that really the sections can be between 20 and 30 words. So I'm, I'm doing a smaller word search. Once you have everything you know that you want and you show that everything is spelled correctly and you've got the space in between, you go ahead and save it. So if you're doing it in Google Sheets, you go to File and you go to Download and you want to download as comma separated values or dot CSV. All right. So I've already done that. And this is what it looks like. All right. It's really small for you to see, but that's this is what it will look like. 
All right, so now we'll go back and select the file, but you've got to upload the CSV file that you created in order for it to um, make your puzzle. All right, so let me just look for, okay, so here it is. Open it, and then we'll click Submit. And then this will turn green when it's ready, and we can go ahead and download the PDF file then. Okay, it's ready. And this is our word search. And it should have three puzzles, and it should have a solutions page or pages with, with the answers. All right, and so this is it. The first one that I did with the animals, the colors, and the shapes, and then you've got the solutions following. Okay, and the page numbers match the actual puzzle page number. All right, so now we've got this, but I prefer to have, you know, a title here or something to say, you know, animal theme or, you know, find the animal names or something up here. Otherwise, it just looks kind of plain to me. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just download this. Or, okay, I already have it. That's fine. We download that and then go to a website called ilovepdf.com. And I love this website. <laughs> I use this website a lot to either merge PDFs, split PDFs, okay? I just like it. So what I would do is go to all PDF tools, and you'll see right here that you can edit the PDF with this. So I would click on that, and I'm going to go ahead and drop my puzzle there. And you'll see it pops up here, right? What you can do with this website is you can actually add images or you can add text. So I'm going to add text. And now this is not like working with Photoshop or Canva or anything like that. It's, it's a little limited, but it's easy and it's free. All right. So I'll put animals. I can make it a little bit bigger. I'll just make sure that it's centered. Okay. Change the font. That's really big. All right. Now, there's no way to really automatically center this on the page. But what I do is I just count the letters on each side. So here's one, two, three, four, five. All right. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five. So for me, I think I think that's that's pretty good. All right. And of course, you can always spend more time on it. Just to really make sure it's in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Is that in the middle, guys? I think so. I think so. I'm center challenge, so I have to count. Five, one. Okay, so that looks like that's center. All right, and you can add text, and you can do that for you know, all the puzzles. The solution page is kind of bare. So if your puzzle has a theme, you can definitely add, I would add images here. Okay. And let's see if I can, if I can do that. Um, where is my, my autumn? Okay. So let's see what we have here. Um, so yeah, if you have a theme, you can definitely use, you know, any space on here to customize it. I just want to show you how you can actually add images to this. All right. Yeah. So you can just, you know, play around, you know, find some images. You can even add some more text in here if you wanted to. But yeah, so that's that. And so I've got the heading here. Of course, I could do a heading here for colors um okay and if i were doing actually doing an autumn theme <laughs> i would have you know puzzles that were related to autumn but you get the idea and i'm just curious are you thinking about doing a word search or activity puzzle for uh kdp let me know in the comments what type of um, book you're thinking about making.
because if you, you saw how many puzzles you can make you know other than just word searches so I don't know how many people make you know hangman puzzles and things like that or how they sell on KDP that's something I haven't really looked into uh, but uh it may not be a bad thing to try okay so I'll leave that for now all right so we've got the title for each page and I think we're good to go so I'll click on edit PDF and then it'll let me download it all right so now that's here the word search but I want to do one more thing I'm gonna to go to merge PDF and I'm going to add the word search puzzle that I just made and then I'm also going to add a heading or well, not a heading a title page or this belongs to page that I made in Canva because I like to have something you know in front of this you don't want to just open the cover and then you just start the word search if you can it's nice to have a title page or this belongs to page or you can add you know on the bottom um, you know your copyright language whatever you want to put down there the name of your publishing uh, company and just add that you know add a little uh, a little professionalism in, the, in, in your book and this program will allow you to do that so you can download an entire puzzle book and then you can actually add the first page using merge PDF which I'm going to do now click on download merge PDF and right here now I've got my completed word search so that's I mean it's really as simple as that so if you're interested in trying BookBolt, it's $9.99 a month for the standard subscription. It's $19.99 a month if you want to be able to use the Puzzle Whiz. And but it, there's a promo code in the description, Lisa Michelle, and you'll get 20% off. It is an affiliate link. So if you make a purchase, I may receive a small commission at no cost to you. But this is something that I use a lot for my puzzles and my activity books. And um, you know their tutorials here to help you they've got web uh, YouTube videos to help you and if you have any questions leave it in the in the comments and I'll be sure to answer your questions and get back to you okay so that's gonna do it for me if you like the video please go ahead and like it and subscribe this way I know you like the content and uh, yeah until next time 